Hello everybody, Saigon Cat here with Equestria's Rest. Got a couple of things here today. Uh, we'll, we'll start with the Dragon Questy one, the one that I know is Dragon Questy. We also have a package here from subscriber Praise Thy Jeebus. Jeebus, thank you very much. I'll probably be offering up a, a couple of other thanks, but look what finally came in the mail. You, you probably saw me post this on Twitter. The edges are a bit banged up, which is apparently an Amazon thing, because I've seen reports of other people with banged up edges on theirs. I've had the Akira Toriyama Dragon Quest Illustrations book on pre-order basically since it went up on Amazon. Feels like a year ago. Might have not been that long. But it feels like it's been a while. And I actually... Oh wow, it's published by Viz. Viz is still around. Who knew? Um, I've even seen this at Barnes & Noble, actually. So, just because you didn't pre-order it online doesn't mean you can't find a copy. And I would probably go to Barnes & Noble and get yours, because then you can check the edges and make sure that their stock people and, you know, the people doing their shipping didn't throw it around and bend up the edges. But what we have here is a massive, massive book of Akira Toriyama Dragon Quest illustrations from monsters to anime to side games. I think that's from the third Torneco game. I think I still need to cover the Torneco games on my channel. God, there's so much I need to do. Oh, hey, I remember this guy. We fought him. Yeah, that guy I fought him a couple of times. As as standard, it's just a lot of great, you know, it's it's Dragon Quest art, and this belongs on the shelf of every Dragon Quest fan. It's just really great art, and uh, I I wonder if there's a digital version of this. Some Heroes 2 artwork. I wonder if there's a digital version of this. There's like an analysis. There's uh, interviews and information in here. It's what you would hope for and expect from an art book. Kona, go away. I just got off of work. I don't need you bothering me. Got some old school DQ3 art in here. I love it. Beautiful stuff. The Thief from DQ3, who I want to say wasn't in the original game. I want to say that was added in for the SNES and the Game Boy Color games. Yeah. Yeah. That was lovely. It was beautiful. Oh, wow, they've got, like, unused pixel art designs. Look at that. Look at the Prince of Kanak. Look at that. He used to be like Ranger Rick as a fox. I wonder if that would have kept him from dying as much. Who knows? So there's that. Also, a quick shout out to the uh, the shipping shop. The, the kind ladies who work there gave me some zucchini bread today, which was really nice of them. And then here we have this massive beast of a package. And I've made the joke before about somebody just sending me, like, you know, 30 copies of Nier taped together. So there are some concerns. I, I'm afraid one of you might do that now, and I think that half of that blame is on me. So we're going to open this up again with my trusty Leatherman Juice. It's not a fancy knife, but it gets the job done. And that's all you really need from a knife. Open this uh, I need to clean and sharpen this. It's got all sorts of ugly tape residue on here. Makes it stick sometimes. We have air cushion. More air cushion. Even more air cushioning. 
more air conditioning. We have Lani. What are you? We have a giant bubble wrap monster that apparently needs to be freed from its cocoon, its husk. There's something else in here too. Oh my god. What we have here is what are these Xbox One controllers? Open up. Okay, you know what? No, I'm holding the knife. I don't know why I'm going about this the hard way. Don't know why. I'm like that character in movies who gets captured by like one of those comical nets and they don't think to just use the freaking knife that they have on them. So we got two Xbox One controllers. Did you send me an Xbox One? Oh, these are fresh. These are brand new. Is this a is this a cry for more Halo? I think you sent me an Xbox One. Which model? Come on, come on, get out of there! Kona, go away! You're a pain in the ass. You're paying the ass. Is this the S? Or is this the one X? I don't know which model this is. I haven't seen. It's a it's an Xbox One X. Oh shit, man. Nice. Thank you. This is actually really perfect timing because they're adding um 4K to uh, the Halo games, which, I mean, I, I do still like Halo. 5 has been a bit of a pain in the ass, but they're finally fixing Master Chief Collection. That only took, what, three years? It's no biggie. They're fixing it now. <laughs> Maybe Microsoft realized that they shouldn't alienate fans of their flagship title. But this is great because my TV, you, you guys should see this thing. It's an old Philips TV. It is... 10 years old? Garen, I don't think, was even walking at the time when this thing was purchased. So this thing's old, and it's definitely starting to get burned in. So I've been looking at 4K options, and this just makes it that much sweeter. Thank you so much, man. You got any Xbox One gaming requests? Anything you want me to stream? Beautiful. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Jeebus. I really appreciate it. This is great. Uh, I can move the other Xbox One upstairs, and the kids can actually play on that now instead of coming downstairs to bother me. All right. Thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you. I'll, I'll hold it up for everyone to see. It's an Xbox One X. Thank you again, Jeebus. You're awesome. I have to go do dishes now because that is my life right now. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, Skullgirls stream tonight, and we are going to try and include Picture in Picture, Dead or Alive 5 final round, because everyone was really, really, really curious about what was happening between Perry and Mia in the background, and what got their knickers in a twist. It was knickers. Knickers was the word that they used. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time.